Hello everyone, you are once again welcome to our channel, Javins TV channel, where we bring you the best of sporting news, especially football. Today we are going to look at a title that says Champions League and Europa 2021 stroke 2022. Champions League and Europa 2021 stroke 2022, which European clubs qualified? No Ronaldo, no Sancho, no Salah. The Champions League was starting to shape up to be a very strange competition a few weeks ago. We are used to seeing a couple of big guns slip out of the conversation for the Champions League in England. It comes with the territory of having a big six. But over the last few months, it looked at one point or another like Liverpool, Chelsea and Tottenham Hotspur could qualify for the Europa League and face heavyweights of Europe. Juventus have been lagging all season as Inter Milan stormed to the title in Italy. Bayern Munich likewise were head and shoulders above the rest of the Bundesliga this season. But Borussia Dortmund's story term meant that they too might drop into Europe's secondary competition. And then, there's the short title winners of the continent, Lille, Sporting and Atletico Madrid. What will European competition look like next season? Surely, most of the best teams will be in Box 2, and so many great sides won't be there at all. The Champions League winners and the Europa League winners go into Pot 1 as the first two teams. That's one of Manchester City and Chelsea, plus one of Manchester United and Villarreal. Now, Villarreal has already qualified since they have beaten Man United. Of course, you know that Villarreal finished 7th in La Liga. After that, the champions of Spain, England, Germany, Italy, France and Portugal join them. So it's Atletico, City, Bayern, Inter, Lille and Sporting. A little different to usual, right? Zenit St. Petersburg won the Russian Premier League. They will take the last spot in Port 1 if City win the Champions League. If not, it's Chelsea. Part 2 is where things really get interesting as you've got loads more big teams who didn't win the title this season like they usually do. Real Madrid, Barcelona, Juventus, Paris Saint-Germain, Liverpool and Sevilla are all in Part 2, having qualified while Borussia Dortmund, Porto, Ajax and Arubi Leipzig could be in pot 2 or 3. The other teams who have definitely qualified for the group stage are Atalanta, Besiktas, Dynamo Kiev, Club Brugge, AC Milan and Wolfsburg. So as a group of death, you could have Manchester City, Barcelona, Borussia Dortmund and AC Milan. Or what about Chelsea, PSG, RB, Leipzig, and Atalanta? Wow. Unfortunately, not all countries' champions get an automatic pass into the group stage, despite the competition's name. There's a preliminary qualification round, three qualifying rounds, and a playoff round. Different countries' clubs get access into qualification period at different points depending on coefficient. In the preliminary round, champions of tiny nations, clubs like Forgore of San Marino, enter. Win that, win that and they get into the first qualification round where we meet Ferenc Kravos, Plodge, Shamrock Rovers, Ludogo Red, Ludogo Red, Maomo and Dynamo Zagreb among others. All of these teams have the opportunity to get into the Champions League 
but they have to win three games to get to the group stage. In the next round, Olympiakos, Young Boys, Red Star Belgrade and Omonia join. In the round after that, Rangers and Slavia break, enter and in the last qualification round, Red Bull Salzburg play. You get the idea? Clubs from bigger leagues have fewer qualification games to get in. All of these teams are champions of their respective nations. They are supplemented by other teams who finished high up in these smaller leagues too. Monaco, Genk, Benfica, Shakhtar Donetsk, Spartak, Spartak Moscow, Celtic, PSV, Endoven, Sparta Prague, Rapid Vienna, and Galatasaray are also in with a shot of qualifying for the Champions League group stage. Leicester City fans can take some comfort out of the fact that they are perhaps the best side in the Europa League next season. West Ham United will be in the newly streamlined competition with the Foxes from England. Only two teams from the Premier League this time around, at least until Champions League third placed sides drop down. From Europe, there's Real Betis and Sociedad from Spain, Napoli and Lazio from Italy, and Trach, Frankfurt and Bayern Leverkusen from Germany, and Olympics Lyonnais and Marcel from France. Braga and Lokomotiv Moscow make up the rest of the group stage so far. Antwerp, Zoya, Luhansk, AZ Alkmaar, Fanabachi and Stormgrass all finish third in their respective divisions. They will all be in a playoff round to get into the Europa League along with some of the teams who drop out from the Champions League qualification rounds. As Scottish Cup winners, St. Johnston will be in the third qualifying round for the competition. They will have to win that game, then face another team in a playoff. In a playoff win, both win both and they will be playing Europa League football next season. For the group stage, well, no one yet. There's a playoff round to get in. The teams who have met that are Tottenham Hotspur, Roma, Union Berlin, Rennes and Villarreal since they have won the Europa against Manchester United. Pacos de Ferrari, Robin Kazan, Anderlecht, Kolos Kovalivka, Vites, Trabzonspor and Lask are all in the third qualifying round for the competition. One of the Champions League first qualifying round losers will drop into this stage of the Conference League qualification process. In the second quali qualifying round, you've got the likes of Feyenoord, Ibanian, Aberdeen, AEK Athens, Basel, Rosenborg, Bate, and Guarabag. Below that, in the first qualifying round, you've got Maribor, Dundalk, Bohemians, Zlico Rovers, and the New Saints. As is with the other competitions, losing in the qualification of the Europa League means you can drop into the Conference League. It's been a topsy-turvy season, but most notably, Arsenal will not be in Europe for the first time in a generation. They are not the only ones though. In Germany, Borussia Mönchengladbach will be without continental football next season after falling behind Union Berlin. Lens looked good for Europe in France but fell away and Granada won't have another European after this season's adventures in the Europa. Istanbul Basaksehir played PSG, Leipzig and Man United this season but finished 12th so they haven't earned a second campaign in Europe. Thank you for listening and as you know, subscribe, share and of course your comments will be highly welcome. 
Thank you so much and have a pleasant day.